a Team Fortress to video. Alrighty, another day, another video. Bro, I swear to God, I picked the worst time to make these things. God damn it! Pyro! Who is Pyro? What is Pyro? Well, you know what? What isn't Pyro? Pyro is a lot of things. A mercenary. A killer. A possible soldier. A business owner. Maybe even non-binary. But above all else, Pyro is a child at heart. They see the world through a magical lens, and they're able to see a lot of the good in people. I mean that, and, well, you know. Mental sickness. Pyro is probably one of the most iconic mercenaries in Team Fortress 2. They have a recognizable design, a unique silhouette, a really cool mask, a fucking unicorn thing. Two of them, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, they're usually the Merc Valve uses whenever they want to promote something, like in a crossover thing or whatever. That little burning bastard is really iconic. And they also have a massive player base. If you've been playing Team Fortress 2 for a long time, you know the stereotype with Pyro. Pyro is one of those classes that new people always gravitate towards. It's Pyro and it's Scout. There's almost no in-between. Now, why is that? Probably the furry hats and the hoodies, if I'm being honest. But also, it's because they're very easy to pick up and play. Ugh. Now look, I don't want you to take that as me saying Pyro is like brain dead or something. Like, I know Pyro mains have the stigma of, Oh, all they do is just WM1, mouse click, fire, <laughs> I mean... Yes, but also, what room would I have to criticize that? I play Heavy. Newsflash! Heavy does it WM1 too! It's very simple, and it's effective. <laughs> However, Pyro is different. For instance... They aren't bald. Unlike Heavy or really any of the other classes, Pyro suffers at long range. If you really want to get mileage out of the Burnmeister here, you need to learn how to flank, how to pick your targets, to become an opportunist. Or just bum rush the enemy and burn them on. Yeah, that works too. I mean, jokes aside, if you want to play Pyro at a basic level, that's it. I mean, they're really not that difficult to figure out, if I'm being honest. I mean, their stock kit isn't the worst. They, it gives you what you need. But then there's also the thermal thruster. My beloved, the object of my desire, the... Like, I don't know, the fourth worst secondary you could pick? I mean, sure, there are weapons like the flare gun and the detonator, which can let you fight from a distance and even give you some extra mobility options if you're willing to learn an entire skill. Well, why would you do that when you can just do this? This shit rocks. I love this thing. It's so much fun to use. I like going up really high. It's really funny. Yes, I know. There's also the Scorch Shot and not to start a flame war in the comments. But I really don't care if people use the Scorch Shot. But, but I understand where people are coming from. It's an annoying and irritating weapon to deal with, and it's not exactly fun to play against. It's really stupid that it causes you to bounce when you get hit, and it causes you get mini crits. It's, uh, it's, it's, I, I don't care, man. I really don't. I'm not here to have that discussion. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't, you don't. Fucking game's older than half the people watching this video. I don't care. Just go win. Go win, dude. Just play the game. Well, Hunter, talking about like two or three specific weapons is all good and all, but what about one of the Pyro's like most defining gameplay features? The ability to combo their weapons. Yeah, uh, comboing. Yeah, you know, I, I've, I've done that, like, so much, you know, like, oh, yeah, the uh, the degreaser with the, the detonator, and then you c uh, quickly go into the extinguisher, or, you know, you, you switch out. And I don't really know how to combo that well. I, look, look, I know, I know, okay, like, comboing is a big part of Pyro's playstyle. You need to be able to quickly switch between their weapons, because Pyro has a lot of unlocks that synergize with the afterburn mechanic. I understand, I get that. 
I'm very bad at that, and I like using the flamethrower too much. I'm sorry. Also, talking about practicality is not the point of this video. Like, who do you, fuck, like I'm not fucking Uncle Dane. No, but seriously, that actually is a big part of playing Pyro, is using the afterburn to your advantage. The flare guns, the scorch shot, they all synergize with the afterburn by dealing mini crits when you shirt, when you, when you shirt. <sighs> when you shoot people that are on fire. And of course, there's the extinguisher, which deals a guaranteed critical hit to burning enemies while extinguishing them. That's fine. That's all well and good. That's super cool. I'm just very bad at doing quick little weapon switches, and that's mostly because I don't like the degreaser. Like, yeah, I get it. It lets you switch in and switch out of it really fast, so it encourages that play style, but... I really, really, really like the default flamethrower and the Dragon's Fury a little bit, but I'm kind of bad with the Dragon's Fury, if I'm being honest. I need more practice with it, but very fun weapon. But, you know, still, that's not really how I like to play Pyro. Like, what do you want from me? Is that, like, is that okay? Is that all right with you, Dad? Do I, can I play the game like how I, I want to play it? Huh? Fuck you! I mean, then again, I do die a lot, so maybe I should like look into that a little bit i bet you i can no hands come you know honestly that might be what makes the pyro so appealing there are so many ways that you can play this class that it keeps it feeling fresh and engaging every time you pick them while yes a lot of their flamethrowers essentially act the same they all have something a little bit unique that each encourage a different style of play either majorly or minorly I don't really care if that sentence doesn't work. I'm keeping that in. Like I said, with the degreaser, it encourages a more, I guess, active play style by constantly switching weapons so you can do extra damage. But you know, there's also weapons like the back burner, which heavily incentivizes you to actually flank the enemy team. There's the dragon's fury, which encourages burst damage. There's the phlogistonator, which encourages you to be an annoying piece of shit that constantly kills people. And you get rewarded by doing the thing that Pyro already- it's honestly not that big of a deal, right? Really, that that weapon's kind of easy to counter against. Uh, people just don't know how to fight it properly, I don't think. kind of wish this level of synergy existed within Pyro's melee weapons, because I think, more or less, the primary and secondaries are all mostly good and they work well together, but the melee weapons... I mean, I obviously have a favorite. I really like the power jack, but that's because I use the power jack as a mobility tool. I like moving faster so I can get back into the fight more. I'm not swinging it as a melee weapon. It's pure utility based. And I kind of feel like there's too much overlap with some of Pyro's weapons. Like outside of the extinguisher and the power jack, I personally didn't find myself using any of his other weapons. Like, I get the back scratcher can be useful, but why use that when I can get better crits with the back burner? I mean, you know, the Neon Annihilator is kind of cool. There's not really enough maps that make full use of water. I mean, I guess there's two, four, and I don't know, well, there might be others, but it's such a situational weapon that I can't really see myself using it. That and the... Uh, that and the homewrecker, actually. I tried my damnedest to be a pie bro, and it just wasn't working. I know it works, and I know it's like a more defensive style of play for pyro, but it's not really all that fun. Like, I feel like I could be doing more. Am I ever getting something? I don't know, I tried the gas passer. Gas passer's just kind of like a worse Gerati. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of wish there was more than just the power jack that appealed to me when it came to Pyro's melees, but maybe I just didn't experiment enough. Maybe if I used them a little longer, I would have come around on like the extinguisher or the back scratcher or maybe even the sharpened volcano fragment. I don't know. I, I like the thermal thruster. That's a bad weapon. Maybe I would like that bad weapon. I don't know. I, don't know. I think that is kind of what fascinates me about the Pyro, that there are so many different ways that you can play this class with just the primary and secondary. I really wish I could get the hang of stuff like detonator jumping and stuff like that, because that's really cool, but I was just never good at it. Kind of like rocket jumping. I, I was never really good at that either. Eh, who knows? Maybe, maybe one day.
Get with the program. Oh, what, asshole? You don't think I can do it? No, sir. Oh, well, <laughs> fuck you, buddy. I'll show you. I'll become the best rocket jumper on planet Earth. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the pyro. I like the pyro. I'm kind of glad I tunnel visioned my way into playing them because they're a lot of fun. Even when I was playing this game when I was younger, when it came out, I wasn't really playing pyro all that much. I mainly stuck to scout and heavy, but now that I really sunk my teeth into them, they're incredibly fun. But my favorite aspect of pyro, 100%, this character is so annoying. It is so easy to piss people off. Even when you lose, you win. There's a reason why I don't retreat too much when I play Pyro, because if you run up to someone, guns a blazing, low health, set them on fire and die, they're still on fire. You're still irritating them just a little bit. It's that little bit of spike that really keeps me going, dude. <laughs> well, that's about it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe I'll talk about the other classes someday. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll see you in hell. Have a good day. Email biggeyesforlittlefellas at gmail.com. <coughs>